Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is an introduction to our workshop on linear regression. And in this workshop, we're going to be covering how to do linear regression in R. And oftentimes people think of linear regression, they think it's a very simple model. And they often correlate simple with bad or cause the causation of simple being bad. But what you'll soon find out as you learn to use R is that, or even stats in general, is that sometimes simple is better. If you can get away with a simple model that has pretty much the same predictive capabilities as a more complex model, typically you should go with the more simple model. And there's typically a trade-off between, sometimes, between predictability and interpretability. So the more complex the model becomes harder to interpret, but it may be, have more predictive power. But anyways, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is attach the basketball basketball dot season data and don't worry if you don't have this red text below uh, and what we're gonna do next is we are gonna go plot our data so the hypothesis I have is that is there a relationship between uh, height and blocks so let's go blocks tilde height and let's see what that looks like okay okay so it looks kind of hard it's kind of hard to see so what we're going to do is we are going to go x limb which will allow us to change our our x axis c uh, and then we're going to say between 60 and 100 so we'll change our axis to x axis to 60 to 100 just so we have a better view of the data, just because there's usually not that many short people in the MBA. And so, okay, so that looks interesting. Looks like there's some relationship. Is it linear? Maybe. Is it logarithmic? Exponential? Uh, we'll see. Um, but either way, it looks like there's some sort of relationship. So first thing we want to do is we want to define what the null hypothesis is. So we're going to go blocks.mean. And we're going to go means of block uh, blocks. So what's the mean of the blocks? And what we're going to do here is then we're going to plot a b blocks, or we're going to blocks dot mean onto the graph, and we're going to put color equals blue. And what the mean is is basically that's null hypothesis. In, uh, and we'll see whether or not our linear model actually approves upon that null hypothesis. So we're going to go there. And next thing we're going to do is we are going to go, we're going to calculate blocks.regress. Or we're going to call it blocks.lm. And we're going to make that equal to lm, which is linear regression. And we're going to go blocks mean. Run that. Oh, sorry, not well, not mean uh, height. I mean, so I'm gonna run that, and then I'm gonna quickly show you what blocks dot lm looks like. So if we go there, if we define it. You'll see the intercept. You'll see the uh, what the b one uh, variable is in relation to to the impact of height, a single inch of height related to blocks and then now we're going to plot it so we're going to go a b line h uh, blocks or let's go blocks dot lm and then we're going to go color equals red so let's run that so now we see that there's okay some sort of relationship let's see how much better the blocks.lm does above the, the null hypothesis. So we're going to do summary blocks.lm and we're going to run it. And then you'll see we have this nice little summary. It does our formula up here, what the residuals are, and as well uh, whether or not there's a, the intercept as well. Um, and then as well, you'll see the estimate, you'll see the standard error, you'll see the t values fairly high. 
uh, and you'll see as well the p value is fairly small so it indicates that block uh, height is statistically significant but what you'll see down here uh, when we get down to um, the r squared or the adjacent r squared you'll see that it has fairly low predictive powers and there may be other variables that we need to incorporate to get a stronger predictive power but I think that's a good start. Let's leave it as that. And then let's continue on in the next lesson. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And I look forward to speaking to you next time.